Hello everyone, this is Tina. In this video, we're gonna cover the stream. Uh, yesterday, we talked about how to read the file using synchronous and uh, asynchronous way. And uh, the problem of that is if we have a file which is very, very, very large. So for when we read the file, how can we fit the very, very large file in, uh, in the memory, right? So it's not a good solution for big files. Then the better solution is called a stream. So in the file system, it provides a way using stream to uh, like a <clears throat> to stream our data, which is a small, small, small piece of a chunk. So it won't fill uh, our memory out, okay? Fill all the memory, okay? So let's take a look at the example. Before that, I already uh, download a very large uh, image, okay? Mm, pretty large, uh, I, I didn't count the size anyway, but basically larger than the demo we see yesterday. So here I will create an app.js. So in order to, uh, what I trying to do here is first I will read this uh, image, uh, JPG file, then write into another file. And uh, how to do that is using both, we are using the stream API instead of read the entire file or write the entire file. So here we were using FS require, which is the core module from a node. And uh, suppose we want to use in path, we can use in path, okay? So here our code won't have problem in Linux or um, um, Mac or Windows. And uh, to uh, read the file, we create uh, read a stream okay and here you can use in path.join and uh, here we we can join the path here direct name and then we will go to this file what's how do you pronounce this one pay pele addis large and uh, after that, it has options. See here, the, f the created read stream, the API. The first one is a path to the file. The second one, you can give encoding, you can give a flag. And there's one I'm going to use now, it's called a high watermark. Because by using this one, you can change the size of the piece of chunk, gonna be read every time. So here, we will have one or a higher uh, high word map we can use in like a eight uh, this one means 8k per time right and next one is uh, here we will have a readable okay then we can attach event once the piece of chunk data is ready, what should I do, right? Then we give a callback in, uh, in uh, uh, here, we're gonna have a chunk. And uh, the, this, what's the size of chunk gonna be decided by our high watermark. Okay, based on this one, but the for the last chunk, it can be a different because that's gonna be whatever re remaining. So what you can you can console the log the chunk the length. Okay, and let's run and see if everything works. Mm. Day three, right? Uh, excuse me. Stream and we can use the node app.js and you can see every time. Okay, the last one will be different because that's a remaining one. Okay. And now let's create a writable stream. Okay. 
This one is I want to those chunks will be right to another file. So here you can give a path. Okay, join. And I was still using current folder and I will give another like a destination dot jpg and then you can using writable dot write and I will write a chunk here okay so this is uh, the whole API uh, a whole um, demo okay so now on the stream we we'll only have two files now I'm gonna run one more time now it's done and I refresh uh, I don't need to refresh here the destination JPG is being and this is the previous this is the original this is the destination so this is uh, how to using writable and uh, readable okay which is uh, suitable for uh, write or re read or write for larger files okay so that's it for this video thank you for watching see you next time bye bye